name's Sarah Massey and I'm currently the clinical supervisor for the Midtown and Parma outpatient programs. I've been with Catholic Charities just for over a year at this point. Full time prior to that I was doing groups in the residential facility. So we really take a person-centered approach, so it's gonna depend on what an individual needs. So we start with assessment, help the person identify their needs, their strengths, their goals, and then figure out what interventions we have to be able to assist them. So then we identify a level of care for substance use treatment, and so that might be residential level of care to help them really get stable, achieve sobriety, and be ready to move on to the next steps, which is usually our outpatient programs, IOP, and then outpatient level treatment and aftercare. So we also are able to incorporate mental health treatment for them and address those needs. We have psychiatric services and mental health treatment providers who are able to address any like emotional dysregulation concerns or general mental health issues that they might have going on along with their substance use. So our Parma location is really special. We have primarily clients who have stepped down from our residential treatment. So they already have some of that commonality going on. They already have bonded. They've had similar treatment programming while they were in residential, whether in the men's or women's facilities. And so they already have gotten that base. So they're coming to us understanding the values that um, Catholic Charities has for our services, being treated very well from our residential staff, getting again that foundation. So by the time they get to us and our outpatient programs, they already have a solid foundation built and we're able to really just help them grow exponentially. My name is Dan Schmidt. I am a therapist here at Matt Talbot, substance use disorder and mental health. Those two things can go hand in glove. Most of us on the staff here have an educational background that enables us to address both of those things. And the research continues to tell us time and time again that clients' interests are best served if those two things are addressed simultaneously. There are people who have kept in touch with me over the years and since they've left here. And that's very gratifying for me. This gentleman was on probation. He was involved with the criminal justice system. And after he discharged, his probation officer called me to tell me the benefit that he articulated, he had received while he was here and was very specific about some of the programming that we had done while he was here. Those kinds of things don't happen every day. That was a pretty unique experience. I think the fact that we just meet people where they are and really take the time to figure out what are the barriers, what are your strengths, what are your protective factors, and how can we make all of this work together to move you forward to the goals that you've identified. Our programs, though, I really believe look at the whole person. We will link you with services, even if it's not here. You know, we help, our case managers are amazing. We help people get food if they need that. We help them sign up for benefits. We help them navigate things within the legal system if they're struggling and they're not sure what to do or who to call, you know. I think that that makes a big difference. And then being able to get your mental health care, your substance use treatment here, being able to have safe people to ask questions with the group because we keep the group a safe space so you have peers and then you also have the clinical staff to be able to go to and so I think that that makes us a really special place.